Who says that dramas can't make you laugh and comedies can't make you cry? I killed a little boy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sad moments in comedy movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at tear-jerking scenes from live-action comedies, which means we'll be excluding animated films. Number 10. Best Worst Day – City Slickers All right, what is the best day of your life? Sometimes men need to escape the pressures of work and family to discover the one thing that's most important. I'm seven years old and my dad takes me to Yankee Stadium. The trio in City Slickers puts everything into perspective as they look back on the best and worst days of their lives. I sat there the whole game next to my dad. He taught me how to keep score. Mickey hit one out. This leads to a philosophical discussion about childhood, marriage, and optimism versus pessimism. All right, what was, what was the worst day? The emotional highlight is when Ed opens up about his deadbeat father and the day he stepped up as man of the house. I'll take care of my mother and my sister. We don't need you anymore. And he made like he was going to hit me, but I didn't budge. It was both the best and the worst day of his life. But I took care of my mother and my sister from that day on. Number nine, Gary and Andy fight, the world's end. You let me down, man. You were Gary King. Gary fucking King. I would have followed you to the end. There comes a point in every person's life when they peak. For Gary King, his crowning achievement was almost completing the Golden Mile. We are here to get annihilated. Now a middle-aged drunk, he attempts to recreate that glorious night with his reluctant friends. <sighs> it's like deja vu. The tragic nature behind his motivations comes into full view as they reach the final bar and Andy discovers bandages on Gary's wrists. Every moment since their initial pub crawl has been downhill for Gary. It never got better than that night. That was supposed to be the beginning of my life. By finishing his drink, however, maybe he can start fresh as the world literally ends. You don't need to do this, Gary. Yeah, I do. Number eight, Dwayne breaks his silence, Little Miss Sunshine. You can't fly jets if you're colorblind. The brooding Dwayne has one dream, to fly away from his parents in a U.S. Air Force jet. He's going to join the Air Force Academy, become a test pilot, and he's taken a vow of silence until he reaches that goal. His dream is shot down, though, when he realizes he's colorblind and cannot be a pilot. Dwayne, I think you might be colorblind. Crushed, Dwayne at last breaks his self-inflicted vow of silence and takes his anger out on everyone else. Get him to pull over, please! Pull over! Get him to pull over the car! It's all right, with his family now at a loss for words, the Hoovers are left at a crossroads. <laughs> However, through one little gesture, Olive casts a little ray of sunshine on her gloomy brother, letting him know that his family always has his back. Number seven, David Lindhagen, Crazy Stupid Love. Maybe I'll just say it. Maybe, maybe I'll just tell you I slept with someone. Divorce can be painful when the splitting couple hates each other, but it can be even more devastating when they're still in love. My wife doesn't ignore David Lindhagen. She screws him. As Cal prepares to leave married life behind, he looks back on his fond family memories littered throughout the untended yard. Confronted by his soon-to-be ex-wife, Cal tiptoes around the awkward conversation. Before departing in the U-Haul, however, he bluntly lets her know where their marriage crashed and burned. I don't know when you and I stopped being us. I mean, do you? Maybe it's when you screwed David Lenhagen. It's a difficult separation, but not all romances are as sunny as Twilight. Last there. week, you know, when I told you that I had to work late, I really went to see the new Twilight movie by myself. I don't know why I did that, but it was so bad. Number six, expectations versus reality, 500 Days of Summer. He believed that this time, his expectations would align with reality. Romantic comedies have given a lot of people unrealistic expectations for relationships. Convinced that Summer is the love of his life, hopeless romantic Tom believes that they'll finally get back together at an intimate gathering. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. In this cleverly crafted scene, his promising fantasies are contrasted by harsh reality. Instead of growing closer to Summer, Tom just grows closer to a beer bottle. I guess I just figured why make something disposable like a building 
one, you can make something that lasts forever, like a greeting card. <laughs> the revelation that this is Summer's engagement party completely demolishes Tom's expectations. Forced to face the truth, he feels further away from her than ever. I'm the hero of the story, don't need to be saved. Number five, Ray attempts suicide in Bruges. Can we make going back? Okay. back. Suicide case. Considering this is a movie where a little boy is accidentally killed, In Bruges packs in some of the funniest dialogue you'll ever hear. You were gonna kill me. Oh, I were. You were gonna kill yourself. The guilt of taking a child's life is eventually too much for Ray to handle, though. Prepared to put a bullet in his own head on a playground, Ray is saved by fellow hitman Ken, who was ironically about to do the deed himself. Ray, don't! F it out! Lost, confused, and dead inside, Ray confides in Ken and confesses the sins that have left him seeking redemption in the purgatory that is Bruges. Me mate tries to kill me. Me gun gets nicked and we're still in a Bruges. Number four, the truth about Buck, Zombieland. Take away a man's son, you've truly given him nothing left to lose. During a moment of some peace and quiet, at least what little they can get considering the zombie apocalypse, Columbus, Tallahassee, Wichita, and Little Rock take the time to express gratitude for, as well as commiserate about the world in which they now live. For Tallahassee, the worst thing about Zombieland is losing his puppy Buck. But as he delves deeper and deeper into his feelings for the so-called pup, everyone around him, the audience included, begins to realize that he ain't actually talking about man's best friend. As tears begin to flow down the face of the man who previously seemed so antisocial, flashes of Tallahassee and his little one make all of us cry as if we'd all just watched Titanic. I haven't cried like that since Titanic. Number three, Daniel's testimony, Mrs. Doubtfire. Euphigenia Doubtfire, dear. I specialize in the education and entertainment of children. Robin Williams had a gift for not only being able to make us laugh uncontrollably, but to weep unconditionally as well. One of his most unexpectedly heartfelt moments occurs in Mrs. Doubtfire, as he pleads with the judge to grant him joint custody of his kids, even after it's revealed he's been secretly cross-dressing to spend time with them. In regards to my behavior, I can only plead insanity, because ever since my children were born, the moment I looked at them, I was crazy about them. His touching closing statement speaks to every loving parent that's had a wedge driven between them and their children due to divorce. I love them with all my heart. And the idea of someone telling me I can't be with them, I can't see them every day, it's like someone saying I, I can't have air. The scene only becomes more overwhelming when the judge deems him an unfit parent regardless, leaving the courtroom and the theater flooded with tears. Is this court's decision to award full custody to Mrs. Hillard? Oh God, no, sir, please. Number two, I love you, son. Click. Michael, are you okay? Is there a doctor? Click isn't the most even comedy, one half being fart jokes and the other being heavy drama. There are several standalone scenes that do pack a huge emotional punch, though. The standout being this moment as Michael witnesses his last conversation with his father before he died. I'll make you a deal. If you come, I'll show you the quarter trick. Will you look at the man? It's hard to decide what's more devastating. Michael's cruel final words to his heartbroken dad. Don't you want to know how I you do the stupid trick? I've always known. Can you let me do my work? Or his dad's loving final words to his ungrateful son, which Michael repeatedly rewinds. I love you, son. I love you, son. Only one thing's for certain. You'll want to tell your dad you love him after this. I love you too, Dad. Before our top pick makes us break out the tissues, here are a few honorable mentions. Even though Tom is gone, he'll remain in our lives forever. Comforting us, making us laugh. Please don't make me go. I'm sorry, but I don't know what else to do. I won't play the kangaroo song anymore. You're a selfish piece of shit! Care more about getting you so f***ing late than being my friend! Number one, my wife likes me, planes, trains, and automobiles. I never did introduce myself, Del Griffith. 
Adele Griffith comes off as so, well, annoying in the beginning of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles that it's not surprising when fellow traveler Neil blows up at him. I mean, didn't you, didn't you notice on the plane when you started talking, eventually I started reading the vomit bag? What is surprising is how Dell counters Neil's tirade of insults, demonstrating the virtue of liking oneself and being oneself. I'm not changing. I like, I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. What you see is what you get with Dell for sure. But there's actually more to him than meets the eye. Neil realizes this as he continues to peel back Dell's layers throughout the movie, amounting to a final destination that gives the story even greater poignancy and a final reveal that leaves us crying every time. I'd like you to be a friend of mine. Hello, Mrs. Page. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.